So the first question that we need to think about when we're thinking about government, how the U.S. government works, is what kind of government do we have, right? That's the first question. Now, the Teeks list a number of governments, monarchy, oligarchy, totalitarian government, direct democracy, and a representative democracy, all right? So let's, let's quickly take a little look at these, all right? So a monarchy, that's a, when a king or a queen rules the country. That's what England had during the Revolutionary War. An oligarchy, that's, when a, that's where a small group of people rule the country. You know, that might be Saudi Arabia, maybe. People are going to disagree with me about that because that's a kingdom, right? But it's also a family. So maybe we could say that. Maybe not, right? Something like that, perhaps. Um, a totalitarian system government, that would, uh, two easy examples are the Nazis in World War II and uh, the Soviet Union, especially under Stalin. Those are totalitarian systems. A direct democracy. So in the U.S., we say we live in a democracy. But which one do we live in? We don't live in one of those. We live in one of these. We have a direct or a representative. Right? So a direct democracy is where... Every citizen votes on everything. Now, there are a lot of votes that take place in Congress. And for such a big country, it wouldn't work very well. So we have this. We have a representative democracy. A direct democracy works best in small groups. Small cities, small towns, that's probably too big. If you had 100 people, that's probably too big. But that's what a direct democracy is is. So a direct democracy might have been in Plymouth when the pilgrims landed. Right? It could have been in Jamestown, a really small group of people. A representative democracy or a republic, that's what we have in our large country and that's what pretty much all, all countries that call themselves democracies have. Um, that's where we elect people to serve as representatives to make decisions on our behalf. Right? So those are the systems listed in the TEKS that you need to be aware of. And uh, you want to especially be aware of the difference between a direct democracy and a representative democracy. All right? So that's the kind of government that we have. Over here in the next video, we're going to put up a, uh, a list of historical influences that show how rights and how freedoms evolved over time. So let's go ahead and take a look at that.